Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Ilan Paul. As you can see, we've got right here, Palia. Now, as you may be aware, many people have been playing Palia both on Twitch and on YouTube. And uh, I'm very excited to show you some of the gameplay in regards to Palia. I've decided after I did a little sneak preview a, uh, about a week or two ago, um, I asked folks for comments regarding the game. There was quite a many, quite, quite a few comments that went both ways. Uh, some people didn't mind it, wouldn't mind watching it. Some people wasn't their cu cup of tea. Other people were dead set against it. Um, the latter was very much a minority, but it's also a game I like to play in order to decompress, take some time out of my day in order to uh, just relax and play something nice and cozy and easy going. Uh, I know a lot of the usual people that have seen my channel uh, usually see me playing No Man's Sky. And uh, while that is a shoot 'em up type of game in regards to Sentinels and Pirates and things like that, there's also a lot of that game style that we all enjoy that's very relaxed. The base building, uh, the searching other uh, galaxies, not necessarily galaxies, but other planets looking for new animals, new species, and enjoying the surroundings, if you will. It's very relaxing to play it that way. And I've always been, a, <clears throat> as I've learned, a cozy style gamer. I didn't even realize that that was a thing until I started really watching Twitch very carefully to some of these uh, players that have been playing, uh, well, for one thing, Palia is one of them. Um, Palia is the kind of game that I like to play, like I said, in order to relax and take it easy. And I've learned some things watching some of the other gamers on Twitch. Decided that I wanted to start doing a video series of it. I'm going to have the occasional video over here on YouTube. And... I may be starting up my Twitch channel in order to start playing games like this. It would, for me, it would only be maybe a couple hours on a Wednesday night or something like that. But I thought maybe it might be a good way to go just to get a little more uh, uh, traction, if you will, for both YouTube and Twitch to bring a little more of the fun style of gaming. Now, when I say fun style of gaming, every game can be fun. Uh, we all find ourselves playing games in order to distract us from the uh, problems of our world but at the same time we do things for fun and i share my enjoyment of the game with you i'm not in it for the money i'm not in it for the prestige for the glory for for anything that's going to uh, attract attention i'm merely sharing something that i enjoy with you and it's a relaxed gameplay and it's something that i like to do as you know. So, I'm going to get this game going here. Now, I, as you can see, it says beta on the screen, uh, as you can see over there. It's not really beta. This is the Steam version of Palia. Um, the PC version has been out for quite some time now. It is a finalized game. It is truly playable, but they've just uh, brought it to Steam just recently. It coincides with the PC version. I've jumped onto the PC version just to play it. Everything is right where I left it. Now, the one thing about this game, let me go ahead and just get into it real quick. There we go. Is that it doesn't have multiple characters. I can't select something from the screen and choose a new character and start a whole new gameplay. So we're going to pick up right where I've been leaving off. And keeping in mind that the gameplay, uh, I've played this character that you see here since beta, since it really was beta testing. So I've got a lot going on. I'm nowhere as far advanced as some of our streamers that have been on Twitch. I've seen some at level 140, 150 and higher. And they've got so many more levels than I do. Um, you'll find that as I get in here, as my character jumps in, um, there's going to be very few levels. I think I might be level 50, 48, somewhere in there. Um, my housing and my... Uh, my home here is nowhere near as wonderful as anybody else's, so it, it's pretty good. I, I've got a good amount of stuff. I've opened up all my uh, backpack slots that I have that now. I've got quite a bit of gold going on because I'm trying to get more coins so that I can open up more features, including getting better, uh, better storage here. Because these storage chests, they don't hold much, and if you go over here and see these other storage chests... I've got a whole bunch, and every storage chest is accessible. Once you choose one, you have access to all of them. And the same thing goes with, uh, you know, other items as well. I've got seed makers. I've got everything that I need in order to keep this going. 
Um, let me go ahead and just empty these out. Huh. There we go. Okay. And of course, I got my little farm going on that I've lined it all up here, but I do want to rearrange things. I, I like my house, of course. I like the way it is. I got a small room and I got a larger room. But I think it's time for me to move things around. I've got plenty of property here that I've expanded on. I've grown even some extra trees. So that way I can, uh, you know, get some wood from them. But I'm trying to go for some seeds and grow other trees elsewhere so I can replant the whole area out here. So there's a lot to be done in this. Now, my focus is really high right now, the purple bar at the top. I'm going to do some searching around for stuff. There we go. Just don't want to accidentally select some food. I think my inventory is looking pretty good right now. Yes, it is. So I think it's time for me to go do a little hunting. Now, everybody's after the plushies. Um, I've been trying to take out Cernux. I probably have taken out at least six or seven or 800 of them at this point. I don't even know. Um, so I'm going to see if I can't head out to do a little hunting on the way. Um, rather than go the back way, I think I'll go out through the front so I can take some out on the early side and I'll worry about my crops later we'll we'll do that another time um, I'm not gonna make these videos too long 45 minutes or so I think is good enough and I'll get this video out there for anybody to watch and again it's a cozy style of gameplay that I always do so as we do this cozy style of game playing um, we're gonna go ahead and release this probably on Mondays for now and then if I do st start to do some live streaming, maybe on Twitch, like I said, rather than on YouTube, I will likely go ahead and take the recorded videos and uh, put them over on YouTube. And we'll see how that goes. So, my first objective right now is I need to get my hunting skills up to snuff. Uh, let me just see something here. I'm going to go ahead and choose. I always use my slow down arrows. I could use fine arrows at this point, but the slow down arrows tend to slow down the uh, Cernux a little bit so I can get a couple extra shots off as I'm, as I'm hunting. So we're going to head into the other area anyway, Bahari. Uh, right now we're at Kalima. Uh, there's a couple of them right there. So these guys only take one shot each. And you're after plushies. These probably won't drop them, but I figure I'll just go ahead and take them out anyway. I do prefer to use PC rather than using a, an Xbox, you know, a gamepad or a PlayStation gamepad. Um, I don't, I'm not immune to them. I don't mind using them. I can use them if I wish, but I choose not to. As a person hunting over there, I don't want to take their game away from them, so let me go ahead and uh, yep, don't want to go drown myself. <laughs> there we go. And that way they can keep their game. And I'll head over to the more difficult area. Alright. I don't think there's any over here, is there? Hello. Let's see Good to see you. And I'll go ahead and take out a couple over here. Oh, hunting level 11. That's nice. What did I get? Oh, it just indicated that I reached hunting level 11. That's all. All right. All right, let's head over to the Bahari area, and we're going to do a little hunting over there. I'm trying to go after these plushies to see what I can find. Hopefully this will work out. There's actually a glass in my hand. Most of the time it gets to the green screen and it just disappears. It's hilarious. He's drinking nothing. All right, let's uh, get my bow back out again. Make sure we got our arrows selected because we've got one right in front of us. This looks like it could be an older Cerna. I'd like to get a little bit closer. That should be good. That's why. Because then I can get four quick shots off. 
Now, I like to pick up stuff along the way. But I might be holding off on that right now. Got him. They don't always run straight away like that. Oh, good. Sarnak antlers. That's nice. There's the Elder Sarnak. I'll go for him. Okay, like I said. Huh. I think I'd shoot a little bit better, you know? Honestly. There we go. Alright. Looking pretty good. And we got another hunter out here who's hunting the same thing I am. So let's go elsewhere. I could take them out too, but uh, if they're using fine arrows, they'll take them out a lot quicker than I will. I mean, somebody probably hit that one once or twice already. Hmm, let's see. I could go up there, but I'm going to stay down here, I think. Hello! I got him. I didn't get anything for him, but I did get him. That's funny. Alrighty, let's head down this way. Now, there's some flotsam over here that we can get, but unfortunately, I don't know where it's located. We should head over to the left. Yeah, there'll be no more... Cernux over here. Not usually, anyway. Mm -hmm. Looks like an oyster. Yeah, I'm going to hold off on those for now. It's not why I'm here, right? Oh, okay. I know where I'm at. Is that the... Uh, yes, it is the lighthouse. All right. Not sure where the special loot is, but again, we're going to head over to the other side of Bahari and see if we can do a little hunting over there. There's a lot more Cernux over there, usually. Hmm. Somehow I've joined a new server all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look surprised. There's the hole in the wall I'm headed for. Don't want to go out too far into the water. It'll kick you back on the land. All right. Like I said, this is a very enjoyable game. The scenery is very pretty. It does remind us of a few other games, of course. Just going to look over here real quick to see if the flotsam is anywhere nearby. Special loot for the day. But, again, I don't remember seeing where it was. I did watch a stream from... Uh, let me see here. Over on Twitch. Oh, there it is. What do you know? Okay, so this is what we're looking for. Let's see what kind of loot we get out of this one. Yay, five stone. Yay. In other words, we didn't get anything. Not really worth our time. All right, let's head back inland. And let's get our bow ready. Make sure our arrow is selected. All right. Cernux should be coming up pretty soon. Be great if we get a plushie. That'll be a great, great, great thing to finally get one. I didn't even know it was a thing until I was watching a stream. 
over on Twitch and realized that, oh, okay, that's that's an actual real thing here. I guess I can... Yep. Got his main. Hello. Okay, there's one. Easy, easy, easy. That's not a disco one. Okay. Oh. I think I might have got him on that hit. Yep, I did. Of course, he's going to have to take off because it does only last a little bit. Missed. Get up here. Take a look. There's one. Oh. Love when they turn around like that. Oh, there is another hunter out here. That's why. All right. All the way out there. That might have messed things up. Oh, 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 disco. That's the special one. We're heading out to the corner, and he's going to go disappear. There he is, I see him. Ooh, oh, well, that was weird. That was really, really weird. Of course, if somebody kills him at this point, since I've already hit him once, that means I will get credit as well. Oh, for Pete's sake. Whoa. Vanished. Must have went down. Think they got it? They did. Yeah. And I'm never going to get those special antlers. Uh, let's see. I'm going to have to go somewhere else because there's too many folks over here. Uh, let's see. Go up to this one over here. One? By one I got earlier. One of these days I'll get the plushie. Today. Oh, went down a hill. Oh, that was another one over there I forgot to grab. Grab it while we're here. Okay, now this rock here is pallium. So what we're going to do is let's switch over to our pick. And then we're going to switch back to the bow. We're going to choose a flare. Put up a... Put a flare up in the air so people know that there's some pallium over there. Alright, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Here's the other one I got earlier. Oh! Oh, that's not right. Interesting. Guess that's so it doesn't clog up the server. Not a bad idea. That's an elder. And 
let's go ahead and eat that while I'm thinking of it. Get my focus back up. How are we doing on stuff? So it looks like we got a Kalima Hunter's Mounted Choppa. Oh, cool. That's because I hunted all the types. Nice. Very sweet. Looks like I also got myself an Amethyst, which is amazing. I've never gotten an Amethyst before. That is absolutely fabulous. At least I don't think I've gotten an Amethyst. Hmm. Anyway. Let's move on. Pretty cool. Alright. Let's see. Let's head over this way. It's not that I want to be alone from these folks, but these folks are hunting in a group. And I don't want to disrupt their group. I'm trying to be polite. I'm usually a better shot, I, I promise you. Yeah, there's one up there. And this is good. I don't know if I came anywhere near it. Um, okay... Where'd we go? Huh. We didn't get it, I don't think. Oh, well, doesn't look like it. Must have went around the... Oop, there it is. Yeah, <laughs> went around the back. Okay. Didn't expect that to happen. All right. So this is kind of a preview of things to come. Like I said, not everybody is going to enjoy this game. This is a very laid-back, easy-going game. Ah, it's a flow tree here. I could attract some people to it at this time, but I'm going to hold off on that for now. And now I'm feeling guilty all of a sudden. All right, let's check the map. Uh, let's see, and that's what's their name's house, Tamala's house. Uh, so that is east, west, west of Tamala's house. Okay, what is that? Green. Okay. So. Green flare. As you can see, people are going to head for it. So maybe I'll go ahead and pull my axe out. Just in case. Now that's a puzzle area, of course. I don't know if I have access to this one yet. Maybe I do. Let me find out. No, I do not. Not yet. Did I just see another one? No, I did No, okay. Come on, all the way up. You can do it. I might be able to take it down myself, but... It's usually easier if you have somebody else, because the tree heals itself. So, as a, as a thought, let me just show you something. See? It continues to heal itself, so I can't take this down by myself. It's just big enough that I can't do anything about it. But once you hit it once, everybody gets credit for it. So I'll hang out and wait for this, uh... What was his name? Dead Red. Oh, there he is. Her. Her name, Dead Red. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> See? And with two people, you can get it done. And one more time. <laughs> and that's the best part about this, is that everybody is very friendly. For the most part. You have a couple people that do spoil it. But for the most part, everybody is very friendly. Ah, hello there. Whoa, okay, he jumped. It jumped. I should say he. It's a habit. Oh, there's a, another one right there. Arch, oh, okay. I got it three times. I just need to hit it one more time. Ah! That's a tree. A tree ain't going anywhere. Oh, crud. No, didn't make it. There we go. I might go for the, uh... Large pallium. Dead red. That's hilarious. Love the names sometimes that people have. Is what it is. She put a blue. She put a blue flare on it. Okay, good. Ah, I see it. Yes. Will I make it to the top? You always risk that chance if you go up a wall that looks like it's a little higher than you can make. Ah, made it. There we go. Very nice. Get back to my Cernuk hunting. Now, it shows I only have 18 hours left, but I really have a lot more than that. Got another 100 in the uh, in reserve. Alright, we should be able to find a few more Cernux floating around. Got plenty of bugs. Looks like we got some other hunters around, so it might be difficult. To find some. Oh, there's one right in front of me. Okay. You can just outpace them when you have the slow... No plush. I got plenty of furs. I got so many of those and those hides in stock that I really don't need any more. There we go. But it'll be worth something when I sell it. So and I do need a little bit more gold. There we go. Got another one. Hopefully this works out. Because I love interacting with people. I do like the interaction you have with people when you're streaming. Which is very nice. So that I look forward to. So if you like what you see here. Please leave a comment. I know some of you aren't going to like it. I get that. That's okay. Don't have to. Because the key to it is you don't have to watch it. If you don't like it. Don't get mad at me. Uh, is that... It's not a glowy one, right? No disco? No. Okay, good. Oh, what happened here? No, we got the right one. Hold on. 
switched arrows. That's what happened. Let's go chase these guys down. Okay. I hit a tree. Oh. Oh, we went the other way. Okay, I gotta get the one down there. I should have another one over here that I missed. There you are. Hi. And it would only take one shot. Ugh. Amazing how much I've gathered out of these guys. Oh boy. Let's see what else we got around here. Hopefully my voice... Yeah, it seems to be okay. New mic stand and the whole nine yards. Turned. Oop, turned again. Went behind a tree. Got him. And you... Thank you for coming from out from behind the tree. Uh, Elder Sir, so I see it's the Elder Sirnok antlers I don't mind getting. And I got even got a starred pair now too, huh? That is Tamala, I think. Yep. Sirnok hide. Yeah, this is just a minor one. hides. Might as well take them because it will encourage the respawning of more Cernox. This seems to be a nice little area to hunt in. Yeah. Not sure what she's hunting. Time is at 6 10 p.m. game time. Let's go ahead and eat another one of these, get my focus back up. Regular Cernuck antlers. And we'll pick up some sweet leaf along the way. Always look around the bend, because you might have more sitting right there. Keep getting an itchy nose. That's why you see me wiggling my nose every now and then. I promise I'm not trying to cast spells. Eh, why not? There we go. I was blindly shooting that. I didn't know if it was going straight or not. Okay. Let's go up high. Check up here. We'll play for just a little bit longer. Use the chopper meat. Oh, 
Okay, that was really weird looking, huh? Get a little bird's eye view from up here to see if we could find anything. Sometimes there's some hanging out down there. Don't see any, though. Alright. Off we go. Looks like Tamala again. Okay, let's head over this way a little bit. See what we can find. Really would love to get that plushie. I don't know if it's going to work out or not. I've not been very fortunate at all. And the special Cernok antlers is, is another thing, too. Never seem to get those. Where'd it go? Hills! Nope, oh, nope. We're out. Got it. Alright. What we ought to do is we ought to get a horn so we can start getting the proud horn to show up. Or as they call it or nicknamed it, the Disco Deer. I love that name. That's just absolutely hilarious. go. Ah, look at that. go anywhere. They're stuck up here. I'll grab some of those sweet leaves. They're good for cooking. Ah. Like I said, I'm usually much better at that. And there's the other one. Where'd he go? Must have gone down below. Somehow got away. Interesting. Teleported. Isn't that interesting? Never noticed that before. Let's head over there and take a look at that. Find my twin by rolling waves. Return for treasure from the ocean's grave. Okay. Fascinating. That's a new one. I haven't seen that one before. Rolling waves. I'm assuming down there. Let's go check it out. Wouldn't be a waterfall. It would be the... Uh, Sword of the Ocean, if you will. An unusual spot to find a Cernok. Yeah, we don't need to carry it now. Hmm, Elder Antlers again. That's nice. Alright, let's see. By the waves, huh? I don't think it would be over there. You can only go so far this way before it kicks you back. So I'm going to check over here anyway, though. Because this looks like the same kind of post. No, it isn't. 
And I don't think you can go any further over here, as you can see. So it'll just kick you back on the land. So let's keep looking. I am curious. And it's not out there. I don't think I can get out to that island. I tried to get out to a few of them. Some of them you can. Most you can't. No, I don't think it's over there, too. Easier to find at night, of course, because it's glowing, obviously. What do you think? Over here? This pillar here, maybe? No, it doesn't look like it. I'll go ahead and climb it anyway, just to see. See if I can get up there. Here? No? Uh, let's see. My rolling waves. I mean, I, I don't know about you. That doesn't look like rolling waves to me. We're missing something here. Hmm. Maybe we could check up there, I guess. These are actual rocks, so I can actually climb them. Make sure I'm not missing something. Doesn't look like it. Pretty sure this isn't it. And I've tried going around there before, and I can't get around it, so... Let's head downward. We'll check a little bit more over here, then we'll head to the other side of the wall. Because I suspect it's probably on the other side of the wall. Rolling waves, huh? Hmm, I've been up there. Pretty sure it isn't up there. I mean, I'll check, but... Can't climb up that, that's right. That's just a regular stone as well. Let's go over here. Oh. Oh, careful. There we go. Let's see what we got. Hmm, can we go up that? No? Okay. Worth looking. I've already been in here. I don't think you can go in here. Nope. Okay. And there's no rolling waves that way. So let's go back the other way. And we'll cut through the wall over there. It's very interesting. There are puzzles all over the place in here. Some I didn't even know existed. Alright, let's stop here for a second. No, oh, pretty sure it's not over here. Pretty sure it's not up there either. I'll take that. Dragon's beard is kind of hard to come by sometimes. Let's see, is it up here maybe? Things have changed a lot since I have been able to play the game. So a lot of things have... They've done different things with it, let's just say. Let's go up this way, because I just got a feeling... I don't know, just a thought. Hmm. No, can't get up that? Not really. 
be able to get up to the top of that. No, okay, guess not. Oh, careful. No, we could climb that. Let me just move over a little bit. There we go. See if it's up here. No, I don't see anything. I remember being up here at one time and collecting something, probably a chest. Yep, I know. We could take that too. I don't think it's up there. Let's head over this way. And we're slowly but surely coming to an end of our episode. So we didn't get our plushie. That's a shame. That's okay. Again, it was fun playing. Got a lot of things I gotta sell now. That's okay. I gotta get those upgrades. So it's gonna cost some money. Hmm. What do you think? I'll take up the shell. How much inventory space I got left? Not a whole lot, huh? Yeah. And half hour, and actually in 30 minutes game time, we have a low tree spectacular thing going on, what they call the grove. Let's see. This, maybe? No? It's not up there. Pretty sure it ain't up there. Alright. It's time to keep our eyes open for a grove. Rolling waves. Interesting. No. Keep our eyes peeled. Gonna climb up this area over here. Eleven minutes left. There we go. So we can take a look. We're gonna listen. In five minutes, game time, it's gonna give away where the grove might be located. Here it comes. That way. At least I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Let's go ahead and head that way. We'll end this particular video with a grouping at a grove. Occasionally you get a grove over here. It doesn't happen often, though. I'm forgetting about that mine over. Hello. Ran into a log. Don't see anything yet. But like I said, it's usually on the other side of the wall that these things appear. It's not often over here. Still looking, still looking. Looking for a big purple swirly in the sky. Doesn't seem to be any over here either. Okay, let's go ahead and take the water jet up to the platform. I don't have to climb. And away we go. Not over there. Alright, it is probably over here. Almost all the way through. Take a look around. And sometimes someone will send up a flare. up that? I think I can. 
Let's climb up. Anything? Kind of hard to see sometimes, even from a distance. Come on, up, 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 up. Get your butt up there. There we go. Hmm. Looking very carefully. Sometimes you can see the trees themselves shimmer just a little bit. Full Sworder Grove. Oh no. Complete other side. Okay. So it was on the other side this time. Takes a little bit. You want to try to get there before three. Usually they start chopping at three. All right. Whereabouts am I going? Straight ahead. So I literally must have looked right at it. Any flares? No flares. Well, we, will have, we may have to fix that. Still don't see it. Um, can I climb these? I think I can. Oh, there it is. Is that it? I don't see it. Ah, there it is. So, somebody did put a flare up. There's a couple flares now. Oh, you dummy. He went down. Below. Crud. Oh, well. Ain't gonna get that one. Go back to the axe. One. Two. Three. Uh, four. Five and six. And they said there's one down below. Assuming it's down here. Yeah, there it is. So, yeah, I went to hit the, uh, Sarnik with a, uh, apparently with a flare. Brilliant. All right. So it looks like the grouping is going to take out all these trees in one shot. Ran right past it. Can you imagine? Very beautiful. So this will end our episode. Chopping at 3.30. Okay, so we're going to give it a little extra time here.
Not sure why 3.30, but that's okay. A little extra wood. Guess he buried himself at the last second. Okay. Didn't get my bug. It's okay. All right. Mix. Interesting. Love the names. Pretty June. Peridot Moonchild. Every now and then you run across people who just use their own names. I'm pretty sure uh, Paisley uh, Pretty Pad is not going to be. A Pretty Pot is not going to be their real name. Oh, it is 3.30. What do you know? Yeah, that's three. Where are the other three? They may have already been taken down. The loot should be there, though. See? One. Two. Three. And we want to go down and grab the last one. There we go. Excellent. Always want to thank everybody. Very good, very good. So that was very nice. I always do that when I'm in the that section there. Alright, I think we ought to head back to our homestead. So let's go ahead and hit our return to housing plot. We're going to call this episode done. Again, I'd love to hear your comments on it. I know there's some of you that don't particularly care for this, and that's perfectly fine. You don't have to care for this game. That's completely up to you. Uh, I plan on doing this probably, like I said, I'll do videos on here on occasion, but most of these are going to be over on Twitch. So we'll be doing it over there. So we got a lot of stuff in our inventory. Um, most of the stuff I'm going to go ahead and sell, definitely keeping this and this. Um, I don't need any more wood. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. Um, I've got stacks and stacks of Sarnak meat, so I'm going to go ahead and sell some of this, as well as the furs, um, and the hides. I'll keep that, get rid of that. Okay. Definitely don't need any extra stone, yay. Alright, and that should do it for now. So, see, about 2,500 in, in, uh, profits there I can make, and I can pull some of my... Uh, vegetation up and go ahead and start uh, selling that too but we'll do that in a little bit here but uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and call it done here folks i want to thank you all for watching appreciate it let's go ahead and use our uh our wave so thank you very much for watching we'll see you all in our next episode take care everybody